Okay, so how do we simplify this expression? Well, what's going on here? Well, for this little symbol right here, most of you would say this is a square root symbol, and you would be correct, but uh, more technically correct, this symbol is something uh, we refer to as a radical, okay? Now, uh, this little number here, there's all this kind of nomenclature and everything that goes into it, so don't get too wrapped up into this. This is the cube root of x to uh, 2 over 5. But I want to show you in this particular video is how we simplify this expression. This is something you absolutely need to know how to do. But uh, if you think you could do this, go ahead and pause the video, put your answer into the comment section. It will take you all of about 21 seconds for those of you who've been, um, you know, really taking great algebra notes, paying attention to your teacher, studying that stuff, you should know how to do this. But I'm going to explain this uh, if you are like looking at this going, I have no idea what to do here. Well, I'm going to show you this is not that difficult in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school uh, math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, everyone can be successful in mathematics. So if you're failing, struggling, if you think you're a bad math student, it doesn't have to be that way, okay? So to be successful in math, it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work, i.e. take notes, do all the homework, study for your test, if you're not willing to do that, then you know, you're know you gonna struggle, right? So it takes work to learn math. But the second thing you need is great math instruction, clear and understandable, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, even college level, check out my math help program. We'll help you out tremendously. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with a math section, things like the GED, high set task, maybe a nursing school entrance exam, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, SAT, ACT, uh, all those type of uh, uh, courses, I can help you out. I have a lot of test prep courses. If you homeschool, I have great middle and high school homeschool math courses that I can help you out. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to help me out by liking it and subscribing to my channel. Okay, so let's get on to this problem. It looks fairly complicated, but um, it's not that difficult, uh, but here's the deal. If you are taking any sort of algebra course, algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, it doesn't make a difference. You're gonna have to know how to deal with this type of situation. So we wanna simplify this. We wanna write this in a more simpler manner than it, uh, it's currently in. So how do we do this? Well, it's gonna require us to know something, um, a little bit about something called rational exponents, okay? So rational exponents. Well, what does this word rational mean in mathematics? Well, when you see the word rational in mathematics, just think of it, I'm just kind of oversimplifying, just think of this as fraction, okay? So let's just kind of use the word fraction here. Okay, rational numbers we can express as fractions. There's a little bit more of a technical definition of it, but I just want you to think, okay, fractional exponents. Okay, well, what's an exponent? Well, an exponent is what? Let's say we had two to the seventh power, okay? This big number down here is called the base. This little number up here is called um, the exponent, okay? This whole thing is the power. So this is an exponent. So we're talking about fractional exponents. So we're talking about things where the exponent, the little number up here is a fraction, something like two to the one half, okay? So... Uh, that's what rational exponents are, and you need to understand them uh, thoroughly, okay? All right, but I didn't really tell you how these uh, work, and I'm going to explain this to you right now. Okay, so let's uh, look at the square root of x. Okay, you can write the square root of x as x to the one-half power. Okay, that's a rational exponent. Now, the square root, this little radical right here, there's a little tiny invisible 2 right there. We don't typically... I'll write that, but you can just, just know that you ha there's a little two right here. So the pattern is we're gonna write, uh, the numerator is gonna be one, and then whatever this little number is right there, that's gonna be the denominator. So the square root of x is gonna be x to the one half. I'm kinda staying away from technical nomenclature and terms right here. Just wanna kinda generally describe what's going on. And so here we have the cube root of x, so I can write this as one x to the one over three. So just notice the pattern here. Whatever this number is right there, that will be my denominator. Again, there's a little 2 here when we're, um, we're dealing with square roots. And so you can kind of see the pattern. Very, very simple. Now, the next thing we need to do this problem is we need to understand some of the um, 
properties of powers and exponents, and there's more than these right here, okay, or this uh, one right here, again, you need to understand, but this is the one that we're going to be using, and that is um, when we take a power to another power, it's equal to um, the outside power times inside power. Let me give you an example. Let's say I had 2 cubed uh, squared, okay, 2 to the third power squared, that's equal to 2 to the 3 times 2 of course, that would be 2 to the 6th power, okay? So this is this property right here. So we're going to need this, and we're going to need our uh, uh, understanding of rational exponents. Now, if you think you understand this, and you're like, oh, okay, uh, I can do this. Well, then go ahead and apply what I just taught you by doing this problem, okay? So what you want to do first is rewrite this using rational exponents, and then go ahead and apply this property here. Okay, and I'm going to show you the problem again. The cube root of uh, the cube root of x to the uh, two two fifths power. All right, let's go ahead and answer the question right now. Not difficult. So at, uh, the cube root of x to the two uh, fifth power we can write this way. Okay, this would be x to the two fifth power all of that to the one third power. Okay, because again the cube root. Anytime we have the cube root, we're like that. We can write it as whatever is inside of here. Let's call that a box to the one third. Okay. All right. So we have x to the two fifth power to the one third. And now we have an inside power. We're raising that to an outside power like this. Okay. Uh, so what? how does that work? Well, remember, a to the m is equal to a to the m times n. We're just simply going to multiply this outside exponent to this inside uh, exponent. So one third times two fifths. I know that you're up to speed on your fraction uh, multiplication. So this is going to be what? Two over 15. So this whole thing is equal to x to the two over 15th power. So that's what this is equal to. Okay, this is the simplified version of it. And if you knew that and you got this totally right, well, that's pretty awesome. Okay, I don't know who your math teacher is, but you certainly deserve a nice little happy face with a good old 1982. Uh, that was a pretty good year. And let's see here. I'm going to give you some extra colors here because this is around Halloween time. But good old 1982 Mohawk haircut and an A-plus 100%. That was a pretty cool haircut back in the day. I promise you I didn't wear this thing. But, uh, you know, we all wear a lot of hairspray back in the 80s. It's probably why there's uh, damage to the, um, uh, you know, our stratosphere, our ozone layer and whatnot. So all of us that grew up in the 80s, we apologize for that. But anyways, uh, just as impressive as that Mohawk is your ability to handle problems using rational exponents. You need to know this stuff, okay? So if you're looking at this and you're like, oh, that was cool, well, you know, but no big deal. Listen, it is a big deal because you have to understand how to work with radicals, rational exponents, et cetera, because you're going to be doing a lot with this in algebra. Okay, so if you need additional help on this, I have uh, other videos on rational exponents uh, in my YouTube channel, and I teach this very thoroughly in all of my courses, a little bit more advanced courses, more so. I do teach it in my Algebra 1, but you might want to check out like my courses like College Algebra, Algebra 2, etc. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.